Hello friends and fans of EVGA and today we're going to show you how you can flash your motherboard from within the BIOS. Normally when you do an EVGA motherboard flash you do it within Windows but some customers prefer doing it in the BIOS um, and we can show you exactly how that's done. Uh, basically all you need is a connection to the internet and a USB thumb drive. Um, so let's go ahead and get our thumb drive connected here plug that into our system. Uh, it is important that this sum drive is formatted as FAT32. So if it's already formatted in some other format like NTFS, you're going to want to format it. So to do that, we're going to open up our file explorer, uh, right click on our drive, hit format. I'm going to call this uh, X299 dark. And this will erase all the information on your drive when you're formatting it, so just be aware of that. Okay, so we formatted. Uh, now we want to get the BIOS update file. We open up browser, we go to evga.com, then we go to service, drivers and BIOS. We have all of the BIOS for our motherboards on this link. Click the motherboard tab. This is part of the X299 family because this is an X299 dark. There's the dark. We want BIOS. This is for Windows 10 64-bit, and we want the latest BIOS, so we're going to leave that checked. We're going to go ahead and download. Now, this tool uh, contains the uh, flasher for use in Windows, but it also contains a .bin file, and that .bin file is what we want to put on the thumb drive. So I'm going to go ahead and extract that zip folder, and then here's our bin file. Just want to copy that over. And that's all you need to do so that your drive is now ready to flash the motherboard. So we're going to go ahead and restart our system and get into BIOS. Uh, getting into BIOS, you just want to tap the delete key. You can tap the delete key as many times as you want. It's not going to affect anything. Often people will just keep jamming on it, um, and that will let you get into the BIOS of the motherboard. Now we're in the BIOS of the motherboard. Um, what you want to do is you want to navigate to the Save and Exit tab. Uh, Save and Exit tab at the very bottom has a BIOS firmware update header. Uh, click the Select BIOS file. Um, you'll see here that there is a x299.bin uh, file in there from our drive. It asks us, do you want to update this BIOS? Go ahead and click Yes. And there you go. It'll start to update the BIOS of the motherboard. Um, it'll take a few minutes, and when it's done, uh, it will reboot automatically. So very important um, that you make sure that the system has power while it's doing the flash. We've already showed you in a previous video that it can get corrupted if you lose power, but we can recover from that. Um, once it finishes, the board may restart several times. So it may restart two or three times. That's perfectly fine. Just leave the motherboard, uh, let it go through its process. Eventually, it'll post successfully. If it doesn't ever post successfully, then there may have been an issue with the flash, uh, in which case you want to go to one of the second or third BIOS of the board uh, and then reflash using the good BIOS. Um, but there you go. That's just a quick guide on how you navigate to the BIOS and update the BIOS of your motherboard on an EVGA X299 Dark. Uh, we plan on bringing you more useful little how-to videos um, so that you can know how to get the best out of your EVGA products.